Despite we have so many object tracking algorithms, so if you search on papers we've caught, you see each year coming a lot of algorithms. So this is a list of object tracking algorithms, but not always their implementation is simple when you need to go into practice and write the code. So today we're going to see how to make the implementation very simple. And also you will understand the logic on how the object detection plus object tracking should work. Then we do object detection and I will implement object tracking. Let's go. Now I'm going to write the code very fast, but at the same time, I will give you enough explanation of each line so that you can understand what we're doing. If you want all the sources that I'm using right here and all this simple implementation, everything is available inside the AI Vision Academy and the link is below in the description. Later, I will tell you more about the Academy. For now, let's go to the lesson. So first of all, we want to detect the vehicles in the video that I show you. So detect the vehicles mean draw a bounding box on each vehicle. How do we do that? First, we need to load the video. So we import CV2, which is the open CV library. We need to you see the compiler is suggesting something already. We load the video. We need to create a capture object, CV2 video capture. And then here we put the path of the video. I have a folder demo where I have the video, which is called vehicles. I have a few videos. I showed you now the specific one. I want to load is vehicles 4.mp4. Now, what do we do? We need to load, extract the images from the video one by one. So we go on a loop. So while true, and here we want red frame, cap read. Here we get the frame. Red is saying if there is or not frame because the video is not infinite. So when there is no frame anymore, we want to stop the video. Now let's show, let's display the frame. See to the im show the title of the window and then frame. Await key event. CV, uh, key equals CV2 dot wait key. So that if we press any key, we can close the video. And also, so if the key is 27, which is the SQL on the keyboard, we quit. And that's pretty much what we want to do. So cap.release to release the video and then see to destroy Windows to close everything. If everything is correct, if I run this one now, we should see the video. It runs and of course it's short, so it quits, but it doesn't matter now. We'll test also longer videos later. 